we recently moved into a new place. So I've been doing a lot of the kind of project management of kind of the renovation that's been going on. I also meet up with friends a lot. I spend time with my husband and, and family. And I do have a lot of hospital appointments as well. So that kind of fills up my, my day quite a lot, actually. It's amazing because um, I'm not working at the moment. Um, found it quite hard to juggle treatment and um, I'm working. So I gave up working in February this year. Um, and you think you have a lot of time, but it's amazing how quickly time goes throughout the day and you don't get a lot of things done usually. You know, I've got to make the most of what I've got. Okay, it's not ideal, but, you know, things could start improving. Um, because, you know, with cancer you have bad patches, you have good patches. And it's, it is a bit of a roller coaster because you're just going up and down. So if I'm going through a bad patch, I think, well, you know, this is a blip and... I'll eventually get back to a good patch again. But I think it's also good to kind of give myself days where I just don't want to get out of bed or I just want to feel sorry for myself because if you didn't, you, know, you wouldn't be normal. Myself and my husband went to Sorrento for a week, um, which was absolutely amazing. Um, and I just made sure I just did loads of just really interesting sightseeing and relaxing. So I think there's a lot of pressure on people to, especially if you've got cancer, to make the most of the time if you have. Um, and I think you can only do what you can if you're feeling well or, you know, if you're, um, if you're feeling up to it. So what I hope for the future for women who have breast cancer is that there is no breast cancer, um, that we can find a cure for it. If you have primary breast cancer, it can be cured at that point and it doesn't get to a point where it becomes secondary cancer and becomes incurable. You know, I really hope that that, can, that does happen.